Hey guys and welcome back to another video on the Super Kai Guy channel. A few days ago I was driving home from work and while I was stopped I got rear-ended. Normally I wouldn't even post a video about something like this but something interesting happened and I've learned about a new feature on my BMW 550. As my adrenaline subsided and I was ready to drive home I inspected the car physically on the outside to make sure it was safe and got on my way. I felt something wasn't just right as I was sitting in my normally very very comfortable seat and that's when I realized that the headrest restraint system has deployed and the headrest was sticking out like it is now. Of course I saw the airbag light in the car but I figured those were triggered due to the accident as the car also put itself in park and turned on the hazards at the moment of impact. I'm very happy with the safety features on this car and even though it wasn't a hard hit and it will cost a lot to repair, my neck wasn't sore, it didn't hurt and I felt just fine after. All in all the safety built into these cars is very impressive. I tried finding more information on the speed or the impact necessary for these to deploy but I couldn't find any substantial information uh, other than like forum posts. I did find a research paper mentioning BMW's E60 platform with comfort seats package as the first car to have it. The research also showed that it reduced the head and neck injuries caused by whiplash effect by up to 45%. Did you guys know about this active head restraint system on our BMWs? What other features do these cars have that we may not know about? Leave a comment down below with your experience or if you read about it somewhere more reputable. It was definitely new to me. While I really wanted to repair this myself and see what kind of damage is behind, ultimately insurers would only pay for what they can see, which would be much less than the actual repair cost. After going to two different shops, they refused to quote anything that they can't see directly, like damage behind the bumper, the headrest repair, they said it needs to be investigated and looked further into, or the misaligned tail light. After a little bit of research, the headrest will require a repair kit as the pressurized gas uh, charge must be replaced before it can actually be reset. At the end of the day, I will have the car repaired by a reputable body shop as I'm worried that there might be damage to the internal body panels that I cannot see. And the insurance will not pay out if I attempt the repair myself and find more damage. So buckle up and drive safe with a little bit of peace of mind that our cars, even though very heavy, are also very safe. Anyway, I'm just trying to turn this negative experience into something positive as I've learned something new about this car that I've had for over three years. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you on a happier and more positive note in the next video.